Houdini 20 brings some new nodes to Houdini that allow us to paint and texture space, which is useful for a ton of different things. So let's take a look at what they are and how they work. So let's go ahead and drop down a SOP Creates. Uh, this project file will be available on Patreon. It's not anything complex, but if you wanna grab it, you can grab it on there. You should also follow because it is free to follow on Patreon now, and I am going to start using that more and just dropping some, some free stuff on there. So go ahead and head on over there if you're interested, but let's go ahead and drop down a grid. And as I said, this is going to be in UV space. So. By default, the grid doesn't have any UVs, so let's drop down a UV flatten for that, and we start to have some UVs here. So let's drop down a texture mask paint, and if we take a look at this, we have a bunch of different settings in here. So we can specify the UV attribute, the UDIM attribute if we want to use UDIMs, and we can change the mask name if we want. We can also change the resolution, which goes up really, really high up to 32K, which is a very, very high resolution mask. Uh, but we also have all of the different settings that you would expect in a paint node or like a paint operation. So we can paint, erase, smooth, smudge, texture, all that different stuff. You can also load in a custom brush file if we would like. And we have our symmetry as well. You expect that inside of uh, pretty much any texture paint thing. So you can turn that on and off as you need. And then we have our visualization, which I'm just gonna set this to just a straight black. So we have a nice black and white mask. I'm not sure why they have that set to gray by default, but we can go ahead and hover over in our viewport here and press enter. And that enters us into the texture painting mode. And then we have, with a lot of new tools, we have this new uh, tooltip menu over here. So if we hold control and shift and then click and drag, we can increase our brush size there. So let's just go ahead and paint something onto our mesh here. So let's just paint maybe a little like smiley face. And then we can just go ahead and exit out of that and we are all good there, but you can uh, paint, you know, obviously as much as you want, but there's another node that goes with this. So we'll do a, it's called scatter from, or scatter and texture mask. So by default, it's going to use a texture. So you can, this is super useful for things like um, like environment creation where you maybe create terrain in different software or whatever, and you export a bunch of masks for like scattering or whatever you need to do. And you can bring those in inside Houdini now and load them up in here. And you can scatter some points onto those masks or from those masks. Or in this case, we want to use the mask attribute that we create. So let's set this to texture primitive. And by default, it loads up that mask attribute. Now it's not going to do anything by default because we don't have anything plugged into the second input, which says texture mask. So if I load in the first input, we don't have anything that shows up uh, still. And that's because this second or this first input from the texture mask paint just has our geometry. Our second output is actually our mask attribute. So if we drag that into our second input from our scatter and texture mask, we get a nice scattering inside of where we painted. So we have uh, some options that you would expect to see in a scatter node. So we can change the density scale and get a fewer or more amount of points. I'm surprised that they don't have this as a like a, a hard limit that uh, you would see in like the normal scatter node. We have the ability to force the total amount of points. I'm surprised we don't have that here, but uh, I guess that's kind of whatever. I also have the relax iterations here, so we can affect that. We can multiply by an attribute if we want. So, so a bunch of different settings in there. And that, uh, that kind of wraps up the texture, new texture painting tools. Uh, there is one for bones like as well. So uh, I'm not gonna cover that because I don't do a whole lot of, of that inside Houdini, but um, it's I'm sure it's super, super useful as well. Anyways, I just wanted to cover these because they are maybe something that you, you missed and they are super useful because like I said, you can use these to scatter, but you can also use these inside of your, your um, shaders as well. So useful to have that ability and be able to create the mass and kind of paint in where we want um, different materials and stuff going as well. 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. I've been covering a bunch of the new stuff inside Houdini 20, so if you want to learn more about that, then you can go ahead and check out those videos. I also cover a bunch of other stuff inside Houdini in general, so if you want to just learn more about Houdini in general, make sure to check out some of the other videos on that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.